Hello, we'll be here again, right where we left off, this is part two. Um, it looks like there's going to be quite a few parts, well at least five, and we've done the first two missions. Um, and then possibly another video which showing all the, the lovely thank you letters that we've apparently accumulated. Uh, so we'll get straight on with the next mission. For our starlight ceremony, she's in here, all these Christmas outfits. Oh, there's a little angel there. Uh, partly tireless efforts, we're on track to get him sooner than I anticipated. There's still some work to be done. Obviously, little dude saying it's, he's, oh, now he's upset, he's saying he's, he, he's utterly useless. No, he's not utterly useless, you can learn. Uh, it's nothing, nothing at all. Oh. Anyway, the next job I'd like to entrust you is preparing the tree, yay! We get go to the orchard and prepare a Christmas tree apparently. Where's that? It's in New Gradania. So go to the Aetherite. La la la. And we'll just go to the Gradania Aetherite Plaza to start so we can get an idea of where the tree is. I'm not sure where the orchard are. Um all the way over there. It's not too far. We can run it. Put our sprint on. There you go. Yay! All the Christmas stuff on the way past. And it's still snowing. My little snowman's happy for that. It's in here. Ooh, look at it. There's the Christmas tree. Are you here to help? Remarkable Splendiferous. Uh, something's amiss about the trees, apparently. See, a part of the trunk has been gnawed away. Ooh, an animal's eating it. It might fall over and that would be perilous to any small child. That, yeah, we don't want that. I mind to call for a skilled woodworker that perhaps they might examine the tree and reinforce it first. Might I ask you to carpenter into guild? Yeah, I'm a carpenter, I could do it. This event should be going, you so I suppose that means you won't need me. Very well, I shall inspect the other trees. Oh, be careful. The carpenter's guild is just over here, literally. This building. Before you're outside. I did my training to be a carpenter here. Oh, there we are. Capable carpenter. Hey there, what brings you to Carpenter's Guild during the season of celebration? Someone's gnawing on our trees. They're investigating it. Let's run all the way back. Wouldn't be a, you know, quest unless we were running to him for every five seconds. At least we're not returning to the walking sands. <laughs> Cannot thank you enough. Save some of the carpenter of surprise and skill. Uh, excellent. So they're not worried. I have got to. Why are you were visiting the guild? Uh, uh, Kameto is kind enough to go about inspecting the other trees. I'm pleased to report that it shows me that, that not one shows any other suspicious gnawing or tooth mark. He's a rather dour fellow, isn't he? And yet, see, he takes his work seriously. Well, wow, that's good. Just needs to cheer up a bit. You mentioned that he was heading back to the amphitheatre after finishing the job. Why didn't he even stick around long enough to allow me to thank him? Might you be so kind to pass along a simple message of gratitude? Yep, will do. Hello. Run back along here. We can get to the eighth right, which is just there. And. It's one of my favorite. Hey, Sunbirds! Can't stop. Got lots to do. Where are we? He's over here. Hello. Can't see where they are. Oh, that's no man's cute. I can't help but feel that something is missing, and yet, what could it be? It's missing his arms.
He's got no arms. I know, mayhap a necklace of the finest gold, a sparkling gem. Yeah. But no, I might appreciate that, but not a child. I must put myself in their shoes. What sort of snowman can bring a smile to their face? Is something coming? Look, Erin, it is being a nice dog. No, nothing's amiss. I simply had an occasion to turn here and I was wondering if there was something, not something I could do to further improve on my most inspired creation. He needs a scarf. Bah, but who am I for? And it's true. And I haven't stopped thinking about what the girls said for bells now. Here I thought I'd come here and put together a festival for the ages. And as it turns out, I can't even make a single child happy. Aww. I'm only making myself miserable. And yet, I must not give up hope. There's still time for me to do my job right, to earn the right to open that chest of presents and claim the glory that is rightfully mine. And so I got to thinking, that child's looking at this snowman with most intense gaze, was she not? No doubt she saw something in it that has managed to escape me. Forgive me, I suspect my work might take longer here than I expected. Oh, don't forget to give you thanks from the what's it. You didn't tell him thank you. Right. Let's go do the twinkle box for our number three out of... Imagine. Yes, he's putting in final touches. It's not about gaudy lights and toys. No, it's about making people happy. It is a cycle of giving and receiving, the ever-expanding circle of peace and joy that embodies the true soul of Twilight Season. So take your present proudly, my friend. Let it fill your heart with pure satisfaction and you might have happiness aplenty to share with your fellow adventurers. Oh, Christmas tree, this one. I assume it's a number three. Yeah. I'm not gonna light him up just yet, just been wondering if there's for something special later on. Have a thank you letter, like I said. We'll do another video on the thank you letters. Starlight waits for no one. Without further ado, I would entrust you with the next most vital task. Okay. There we go, next time. All the way up there. Mm. I think it'd be quicker to go to Lance's Guild and walk over rather than walking all the way up. I started off my very first job in the Lancers Guild about three years ago when I first started playing. First ever job was a Dragoon, well Lancer and then a Dragoon. <coughs> oh, sore throat. Back to offer your aid. Snow Miranda, the truth is we employ a little bit of sorcery to make sure they don't go melting. Well that's true. Eternal ice inside. Oh yeah, we're gonna make sure the ice, the uh, snowmen don't melt. Hey, he's got a parcel on his head. <laughs> That's kind of funny. He's got a gift on his head. Right, let's make sure the snowmen don't melt. Oh, the little dinky one. There's one for you. And then one with mittens and a bow. Make sure you don't melt. Oh, you've got a balloon as well. And you've got the whole lot. You've got a hat, a scarf, mittens, balloon. You don't go wrecking easy, mate. Don't go wrecking my snowman. You never know. Oh, are you still upset? <laughs> one of our first uh, missions. 
like low level missions is girlfriend because the, the house is the mansion, or Hawk Manor is, is go, things were going wrong and he still sat there missing me. I've gone the wrong way. The working guild is somewhere around here as well, I think. Hello! Leave your pink Christmas dress. It's very pretty. We're back here again. Now, job's done. Hooray! Right. Is there a special someone you'll be spending starlight season with? All our friends. We got loads of friends. I always used to come with mother and father, but they're busy this year. That's why I decided to make myself useful and help out. Oh, it's all right. This demandable man will help out and you'll be able to get out of your parents. Uh, as the name runs off, your mind drifts to Komoto, who you believe you last saw at the amphitheatre. What does, how does he fare in his allotted task? Well, let's go find out. Another quick drink. Oh, wet my whistle. How's he doing with snowman? Where is he? It still looks the same, except for there's a huge one. Oh, I know why the girl was so unhappy. Because the little little snowman was by himself. Now he's made a big snowman to go with it. Why, hello there. I was just putting together a, another snowman of my own. What do you think? I've re have I redeemed myself? Oh, it's wonderful. I was just thinking how this snowman looks so lonely and now he has a friend. Let's make one more. What a good idea. Yet another, you say? Indeed, I suppose we've got nothing better to do until the next delivery of ornaments arrives. Very well then, to work. They're going to make another snowman and I'm going to open another box, which is the number two, I'd imagine. So you learned it again, the snowman this time. If I say all that. Open our little box. It's a nice little idea actually. I just like having our advent calendars, you know, every morning for chocolate. Well I don't. I eat chocolate however I want to, but my kids uh <laughs> We give the kids some chocolate every morning <coughs> and their advent calendars. Ooh. If it would not be too much to ask, we are in need of more snowman decorations. I've made an executive decision to build one more. With pleasure, I'll see that necessary supplies are bought straight away. That said, colour me surprised. Could it be you've finally gotten into the spirit of the season? Yeah, one could say that, I suppose. At first, I simply saw this decorating as menial labour. Trifling tasks far beneath one of my stations. And yet, seeing the twinkle of young Isnane's eyes every time I make a snowman or hang up a glittering star, I begin to get the sense of part of something larger. That is indispensable in bringing good cheer to the hearts of children in this realm. I love putting up Christmas decks. Then again, I like taking them down in January as well. <laughs> After a more Christmas out. Ooh, worry not, my friend. There's still plenty of time to polish your creations to perfection before the festivities kick off. That's it. At any rate, our job is almost done, but that's all the more reason we can't afford to slack off. That's it. The children are counting on us. Oh, little snowman with star on his head. Another thank you letter's arrived. Yep. We have a lot of thank you letters. Listen up, my favourite helper, it's time to bring some Starlight Magic to Great Loam Growery. Oh, that's the botany thing.
Oh, it's all the way over there. Yeah, it is the botanist skill. So what was the, oh, that's the um, conjurers. You know, years, absolutely years. This is the first area I spawned in. This was my hometown, so to speak. And I got myself all fuddled around. I was right the first time, though, botanist. What are we doing here? Oh, my voice went all weird. Hello. What are we up to today? Reefs. Ooh. A most generous individual at the Botanist Guild has agreed to donate some of their work. Might I trouble you to make the trip there and procure them prize? Yep, they're up here. Just up here. Literally. It's not far to walk. Here they are. Hello! I've maxed out all my uh, gatherers and crafters now. I haven't been here for ages. Oh. <gasps> Look at the pumpkins! Wow, I could have done with one of those pumpkins at Halloween. Anyway, hello! You got some wreaths for me. Okay, wrong person. Hello! Sorry! Reef you say, but of course, we're more than enough for one and all this starlight. Pray, take as many as you need with my blessing and give the celebrants my best regards. Ah, They put all the plants to go to make nice leaves. And now we can do it the easy way and just jump down here. Here we go. Okay. That's all right. Look, the adventurers helping to get ready for Starlight. Yes, they told me that she is too. She says that every time she finishes the task, she gets a special present. I should have helped out too. Yes, <laughs> now you say that, that poor child. I can't imagine working so hard What for all the hardships she's now facing at home. Oh. Hardship, she say? What is it that troubles the girl? I'm feeling I'm not privy to the details, but word is her parents have not left the house in ages. His name's always running around town. Oh, maybe they're ill. It wasn't always like this, mind you. I remember often seeing the three of them together. Her father cut a tall, dashing figure and always adorned his head with a stylish hat. His mother had the gentlest of smiles and was always clad in a garb of matching patterns that she fashioned herself. Seeing such a loving family walk the streets together was always a heartwarming sight. Mm. Is most troubling. Pray forgive me. I had the slightest idea that there's anything amiss. But ah, but a host of lovely reefs have just arrived for our friends. The botanist girls pray help yourself to whichever strikes your fancy. Oh, need to take one. See if she's all right and her family all right. That's what you do. Make sure your neighbours are all happy. I went round, especially with uh, what's going on at the minute in 2020. Went to see my neighbour across the road, make sure she's just alright because she's a bit elderly. Report, oh no, there we go, we've got to report back to get our number ones. Uh, I think 2020 has helped out people realise that you know more about giving and receiving. A lot more people have come together to help out. I had a lovely, my neighbour came around to make sure we were getting food and stuff in. We were a single mum and I couldn't go out as much with the kids to the shops because we were in lockdown. It was very nice of them. Planning on getting them all a box of chocolates. There we go, the number one. Yes. Would be the last mission. There we go. Have the additional arrived yet? I'm most eager to get started on my task. That's the spirit indeed they delivered not moments ago. There we go. Splendid. I'm gonna go get some work. Oh, there we go. It's 
a mummy, daddy, and a baby. Mine's a cute. That's a good kind of cheer I like to see. See if the Starlight Celebration is good hands again. And yes, your colleague has mentioned some troubling news about young Isnu. I took it upon myself to do some research. Whatever's the matter. The girl is fine, but I fear her dear father is less so. Stricken with a grievous malady, he lies bedridden. Oh. And his, her mother is tending to him every waking moment of the day. That's most distressing, that poor girl. She never said much, but doubtless she works as hard as she does in order to procure the medicine her dear father so desperately needs. Sadly, matters are not so simple. The honours her father suffers from, sadly, is common one these days, and it's said demand for the medicine greatly outstrips the supply. No matter how diligently the girl works to earn the coin she needs, there is simply not enough for the remedy to go around. Oh, dear. Indeed. So opening the twinkle box might light up her eyes. I can only imagine that what she truly wants to sight is to soothe her dear father's pain. If there's only something we could do to help her. Well, there may be naught we can do to heal what ails a man. Perhaps we might be able to offer his name family a bit of starlight cheer in this trying time. The girl is most dutiful and generous little helper for the season. If we had to find some way to dedicate this year's starlight celebration to her and her loved ones, and in doing so make the most spectacular success it's ever been. Mayhap that might lift their spirits. Dedicate the celebration to her. An admiral idea, I agree, but however might we do that? Two words. Stupendous snowman, or if his name's father is unable to rise from bed, maybe we can bring it to them or something? The child said she wanted nothing more than enjoy the starlight festivities with her dear mother and father, you say. If only there was some way we could make that possible. As for the medicine, let me contact my associates and see if there's all that might be done. In the meantime, I would trouble you to see the decoration of final most spectacular snowman! Yay! I bet it might see you collected all the twinkle box has to offer. Pray forgive my presumption, I suppose you're leaving us to return to farm on pattern mode. Nah! I'm all caught up with the story. Yeah. New patch, new story, new Eden. I will post new Eden. I have done um, I've done the story before Eden, but not the actual raid itself. I will try and record that for you. Um, so you can watch me die over and over, which is wonderful. Those of you who've never seen Mandeville Man before might be wondering why he's wearing a dress, let's just say. He usually wears less. <laughs> I've seen him run around in pants and sandals. Right, what's next? Yep, this is our last one. Yay! Oh, we've got a zero and the bell. We're going to give a, a great present. Here we go. Nice big cutscene, hopefully. Yeah. Let's see what we can do for her. I would assume. Oh, they're so cute. Now let's get to it, shall we? I preferred an assortment of decorative materials for the occasion. That said, we mustn't forget who our audience is. What sort of snowman do you suppose? The most warm little Isnay's heart. So we need a nice hat for the dad and some nice patterns for the mum. Perhaps a hint there. What sort of decoration would make and sing happiest at all? Give it some thought and I've no doubt you're struck with inspiration. I know. Perfect to all you learn and decorate someone as best you can to delight your helper. As the town so you tell it. Yusain's father is a tall, dashing type and rarely seen without his favourite hat. Her mother, on the other hand, is for watching matching patterns. Ooh, are we going to decorate a snowman? It's fun. Come on, I want to decorate a snowman. Place a red knit hat on his head, a black silk hat on his head, a green scarf. Uh, it's a dashing hat. I'll put a nice black silk hat. We should have probably done... Oh no, that's quite dashing. And a green scarf. 
There you go. I think he looks nice. And then this one needs matching patterns. So we'll do a red knit hat and a red knit scarf. Yeah. There we go. Now fully decorated, the three snowmen appear as if they're a happy to wear a family. Just looking at them warms your heart. Oh. They're so cute. We got to decorate snow. I, I hope it snows. We didn't get much snow this year. Last year. Truly outdone yourself, my friend. This is nothing sort of a masterpiece. I've no doubt it's saying we'll enjoy your little snowman family. <laughs> Yay! Let's see the cutscene. And then I can show you my new mount. I know, it's the cute. Marvellous, simply marvellous. While I'm part of my creations, I can do nothing but tip my hat to your super aesthetic sensibilities. <laughs> Here she is. Look, the snowman has a mummy and a daddy white. It's just like a family. Our family. Oh, how happy she must be. Did you make this kind of Yeah, he made the snowman. Killing deserves all the credit. No. How do you like it? I dare say the little snowman isn't lonely anymore. Oh, yes. No, I know she's not alone. I can either enjoy the starlight with family while I return home on my own. I'm sorry for making you do all this with me when you're already so busy. Can you forgive me? What? No. Maybe she forgive you. I'm the one who should be asking for forgiveness. After all, it's you who taught this stuffy overly serious fool. The true meaning of starlight. Told you. I told you he'd learn. May not be able to stay for the celebration, but it's already been the best starlight ever. If you would. Oh, here we go. But of course, those presents simply show our appreciation for your help, of course. We have another present, and this one's just for you. Or perhaps I should say, for your dear father. Could it be? As it so happens, uh, Godric, or oh, we know how to say his name, the Saint of Ramirez, happens to be a patron of the Apocryphy. And re <sighs> I can never say words today. That produces his medicine. When he shared your story with the proprietor, they simply insisted they deliver this to you straight away. What's more, they have a long last discovered a means by which they can produce the remedy in vast quantities. Rest assured that all those who are suffering as your father will have suffer soon enough. Speaking of your father, my child, I took the liberty of delivering the first toast to him in person. From the looks of it, it would seem you may well be able to enjoy the celebration after all. Yay! A medicine that not even all the money in the realm can buy. A truly starlight miracle. Yes, this season has taught me much. Coin is but a means to an end, to not the goal in and of itself. That's it. I decided not to take over my father's business after all. Hmm? What are you going to do? It surprised me as well. Over the course of preparing Starlight, I feel my heart changing. He's going to devote his efforts uh, and power to elevate the plight of those who are not blessed with his privileges. Yeah, that's what you should. Charity. Good for you. I'm not returning anywhere until I've celebrated Starlight to the fullest with the children of Gredania. Oh. Ooh, greatest gift of all. What's that? The moment we've been waiting for is finally at hand. Without further ado, let the festivities begin. Yay! So pretty. And our thank you letter, which again, as I said, we'll do a video of all the thank you letters. And I've unlocked Snow Day achievement. Let's see if it comes with time. I come with Christmas title. Oh, that'd be nice. No. Oh. No Christmas title. But what we did get inventory is our bell.
We get a snowman mount, then we're going to teleport to... Where should we teleport to? Uh, I think we should teleport to our house. I haven't shown you the new house, have I? Let's go to the... I'll go to the free company house and I might do another video and show you our new house we got a couple of weeks ago. It's all decorated for Christmas now. Uh, this is the free company house. It's not been decorated for Christmas yet. <laughs> and we're going to have a look at our new mount. There he is. Oh, oh we're inside it. Oh my God, that is the most amazing thing I have ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Oh, I want to see it fly. We need to go somewhere where we can fly. Um, we can fly anywhere now, can't we? I forgot. Uh, we'll stay in Credania. Let's go to the Hawthorne Hut. It's up on the hill. Sorry, this is a long video, but I've got to see how this snowman flies. He jumps around and this is, this is amazing. We're inside. This is another one. Hello. You fly, look. Look, look at it. Look, he just lifts his head up and flies. <laughs> it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's like flying so hello. It looks amazing. Wow. Okay, this is now one of my most favourite mounts ever. So, on that note, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching the second part. And you can go and watch the first part. It would be better if you watched the first part before the second part. And we will also do the Christmas letters as well in our next video. All right. Take care and happy holidays. Bye.